So I've got the 2019 price list, which has just rocked up on our desk. And they've got a lot of new products in here, and Naya like to separate their new products, um, which is really good, because it makes it really handy for us to go through and decide what we are and what we aren't gonna stock. So I'm gonna go through all the new products right now for you. Um, and if there's anything in particular that interests you, please let us know and we can get you some pricing on it, because I haven't got pricing on everything that's in there, only the stuff that interests us. Um, so I'll go through the firearm section first, and then in a separate video I'll do ammunition, and in a separate video I'll do accessories. So let's get started. So there's Bushy with the Kimber rifle. So if we start off here, so we're starting off, it's all in alphabetical order. So the new Adler 18 inch bronze. So it's got a different color. It's got a bronze colored Cerakote on the metalwork and the barrel's only 18 inch long with the tactical choke. So they've gone away from doing the tactical shrouds on the top. I think a lot of them came loose. Um, so they're just doing this style of gun now. I believe the tactical's gone all together. So me and they are quite, we reckon this one's going to sell well. Um, they're going for 930 now. But one thing to note is all the new Adlers, this front stock actually keys into the action. Because what we were having is some problem, some problems with the forend twisting and then it would um, not, would not function correctly. So they fixed that, which is really, really good. Um, Churchill's in 28 and, 20, and 410, not very interesting. Um, the Anschutz 1903 MSR. So a lot of people would remember 15 years ago or so, Anschutz had this style of rifle out. Um, so it's the, the Anschutz 64 action. So it's one of the, it's not the little, little, little action. It's not their 54, which is their big one. That's the in-between one, which is a good one for target shooting. It's got a, it's got their two-stage trigger in it, but it's not the real matchy two-stage, a really, really light one. Um, but it's still a really good trigger. I mean, anything Anschutz put in their guns is going to be better than anyone else anyway. Um, and it's going to be selling for around two and a half grand. Which isn't too bad. Um, it's it's gone up a little bit from what they were selling before when they were selling just under two grand. Um, so I still think you know the guys that want to do the, who are serious target shooters um, are still going to find this a very popular item. So I found that quite interesting. Deanna have got their 260 synthetic uh, in the gas ram in the 177 and 22, which is a different system from the conventional spring system. So they will hold their grunt for a lot longer. Renee's quite. Uh, happy about what well, she reckons these two are going to do really well because they're only 285 bucks as well so really really good for kids and that sort of stuff um, Ruger Precision rim fires they're doing them in 17 HMR and 22 Magnum now and we've just recently had approval from WA police um, to actually bring these ones in we can't sell them in the in the form that they are as you see them here we do have to open up the toss for the chassis um, but it means we will be able to get these in WA so I'm quite excited about that. 1100 bucks, good price for a gun with a chassis and everything on it. So moving along to Ruger, they're doing a few different calibers and stuff and a 17 WSM and a Scout Rifle and 450 Bushmaster. Not much interesting there. They are doing their long range in 6.5 Creedmoor and 6.5 PRC. I'll do a separate video on the 6.5 PRC, um, which is a specific caliber for long range, um, the Precision Rifle competition to fit within their rules. Um, but both of these are going to go pretty well. They're around the 2-3 mark. Um, especially people who have been around in the game for a long time and know the Ruger action. The Ruger Hawkeye M77 action, that is an older action. Not going to be as popular with some of the new shooters, but it is a really good rifle. Um, and anyone knows who's been around for a while that Ruger barrels are some of the best barrels in the industry. If you want a gun to shoot, put a Ruger barrel on it. Um, and the Ruger Precision in 3 and a win mag. We're talking about three and a half grand. That interests me because I think some people will be interested in that now that we can get it in WA. It's a lot of coin, but it's a lot of gun as well. So, and considering it's in a, you know, $1,500, $2,000 chassis and everything, I think it's going to sell quite well. Uh, they're doing it 3-throat Lepore, which unfortunately we're still ongoing with the 3 throats and diggers issue with police. So, um, I'm ignoring that for the time being. Um, a few new Red Hawks, um, which is a bit of a yawn. Savage, Savage A17 in 17 HMR. Um, so these were released last year in 22, um, but they're new to Naya, so they're highlighting all of these um, as new products, which is really, really, uh, these are really exciting. I mean, if you haven't seen these before, they're a reliever release. So you fire it, it blows the action back, locks back in position, you pull on the lever and it shuts the gun ready to go. So it is a bit quicker. 
We have shot these. They are particularly accurate. Um, they're as accurate as many of the bolt action rifles that they produce, so there's not going to be that issue. A lot of people were hesitated uh, on these because they thought that the, they weren't going to be as accurate, but they're as accurate as a um, as a Ruger Charge or a Ruger 1022 or something like that. So we're we're quite happy with with them. Um, they are bringing out an varmint as well. Um, they're also doing a Savage 110 Tactical, which Trent's quite excited about. So the Tactical model is a bit heavier barrel, a bit heavier stock uh, in the Savage 110. So Trent believes that's going to sell really well because that fits into the Australian market really well. So uh, whereas a lot of the you know the Prairie Hunter and that sort of stuff are really built for the American market, that's going to suit the Australian market much better. So that's all of the actual firearm, new firearm products from NIA. There's quite a few things there which are really going to be exciting for 2019. If there's anything there you need more information on, please get in contact with us on the contact details on beatenfirearms.com.au.